G'day, I'm just going to quickly show you how to embed YouTube content directly into Wimber Create such that you can have the video play within your own learning materials which can be really effective. So first of all I've got Microsoft Word open, I've got the starting of a Wimber Create document you can see here and I want to embed some video into this bit of white space. So I better go over to YouTube and find a video that I like. Here's a particular video I want to embed this into my learning materials. So what I do is scroll down below the video itself and click on the share button. It provides a link that you can share with others but what I really want to do is to embed this into, uh, in this case, into Wimber Create. So I hit the embed button and it provides a little bit of computer code here. Now I've found through experience that there's a couple of little tweaks here that make this better um, for students and for delivery within Blackboard. They are to tick the little box which says use HTTPS. Now what that does is occasionally I've noticed with YouTube content it can bring up a little warning message which can scare students. It can say things like this page has insecure content. To avoid that message we can choose the use HTTPS option and we also should choose the use old embed code which I find to be much more convivial for Wimber Create. So what it's done then is to customise this computer code here um, with those sets of instructions we've just given it. And I can copy that simply by hitting control and the letter C. Swapping back now to my Word document, I choose to place the video here. So I paste that code in. Now we've got one more trick to do. We don't want this just to appear as um, that strange text that you see in front of you. We want Wimber Create to actually instruct the browser that that is computer code that it wants to actually play that video at this point. And the way that we do that is to choose one of these special styles that reads CG HTML include. Now I'll just pause and note that there's one that's very similarly named CG HTML head include. We don't use that. We use the one which says CG HTML include. What it then does is to draw a little dotted box around the outside of that code and we're good to go. So let's have a look. I'm going to use Wimber Create now to export my web content. I hit generate course. It will churn through that, converting things into web pages for us. I'm going to allow it to preview this in a browser. And here it is here. And as I now click on to that first page of content, we're seeing exactly what we intended. This YouTube video is now is playing inside the um, page with any additional text or instructions that we may have included. Perhaps you could tail this with some questions at the other end. Um, but as a teaching and learning tool, it's much uh, uh, more meaningful to be able to place that video directly within our own learning context. So I hope that's useful.